everyone Frederick here simple system trading let's kick off with the risk disclosure trading involves substantial risk of loss it's not suitable for all investors you should carefully consider whether trading is suitable for you in the light of your circumstances your knowledge and your financial resources you may lose all or more of your initial investment therefore only trade with risk capital that's money if you lose it you'll not affect your lifestyle or financial stability the past performance is not indicative of future results and in no event Am I anyway promoting on my website or by these videos any implied promise that you will guarantee profits or that you will limit your losses in any way possible? I'm not a financial advisor. I don't give any trading advice, any trading recommendations to buy or sell financial products. Please read the full disclosure and terms and conditions on my website. Thanks for that. I will get right to it on the video of today. Today is a quick primer on setting up your share chart to be ready for automated trading. Um, it might not be complete, but I will highlight the most important things you will need to know. And in general, you will need to know your platform before even attempting automated trading or trading in general. Um, I have uh, highlighted a few uh, topics I will go through in this uh, video. And uh, first off is you have to know your platform. You have to know what you're doing, else you'll blow up. And um, of course, you, you will be the only one responsible for that. Uh, there's um, share chart documentation on their site. Uh, there's a support board. And there's also loads of YouTube videos uh, explaining certain ways to configure um, your share chart platform. Um, some of the issues I'll uh, discuss uh, can be found in the documentation of share chart through the table of contents and into the trading section right here. Uh, there's some uh, things that um, discuss or point out in more detail than uh, I highlighted here in this video. So take the time to know your platform. Um, take the time to know what you're doing. Um, I loaded a... Uh, a chart here on my uh, share chart platform my chart book there's two charts I will go through a few of the settings that you can change to facilitate your automated trading um, what I like is to have a visual on any uh, trades that are, that are in um, a certain trade chart so let's say this is my trading chart, the chart where I will enter and exit uh, trades for this symbol. Um, then I would always want to highlight a few things. I would like to see a trade window and attach it to the chart, this one. I also like to see a dome. So I'll set trading dome on. If you do that, you will already have your... Um, a chart trade mode on as well so you can pick up trades that you are that you see visual in your chart so you already have show orders in position there I also like to show order fills uh, this will give you a visual representation of the trades that are active on this symbol um, I also normally leave the uh, disable auto trading on startup I'll get back to that in uh, a bit later in this video. And this is um, the basic setup. Um, and in this chart, which is my regular trading chart, I have those set as well. Okay. Um, from that, I would like to point out a few things. The automated trading study uh, will update always. Uh, but that's uh, fixed to the chart update interval. So if you go to uh, to chart settings, so a chart chart settings, or for your shortcut, that's advanced settings, and right here you can set the update interval for this particular chart. It can be as low as 20 milliseconds, and that's documented as well. If we go uh, to the documentation, made trade management and understanding calculation of trading systems and there you see you can set your update chart update interval 
if you want to have low latency you can set that to uh, as low as 10 milliseconds and um, that can be done for your chart or you can have it as a global setting so that's in the, the documentation um, so if you set that for your chart advanced settings right there you can uh, set it in the corner I have it to default but you might have different requirements depending on your uh, on your uh, st strategy if you have general settings uh, you can also set that in the general one right here right now it's up to, uh, to uh, 500 milliseconds another thing to consider is your uh, in your chart settings there is um, a time zone and that time zone uh, will reflect in the time of the bars here below on the on the chart so you want to set that accordingly um, and there's also a um, time zone here in the connection to the trade service and you should set that to the same one because the trade orders will have a timestamp as well and that can be used uh, with certain settings so you want to have that uh, the same time zone as your chart the um, control bar I always like to have a close control over um, my uh, automated trading settings there's basically uh, two uh, buttons you would like to have uh, close by actually three but that's a part of the study the two buttons you want to have um, in your control bar this is my uh, custom control bar I removed a lot of standard buttons and I added uh, at least also the trade simulation mode and the other trading on and off global <clears throat> if you uh, load the, the default uh, bar in share chart it will look something like uh, like this this below bar here and uh, you can adjust it you can add and remove buttons and I created my own you can create your own as well and uh, you will have to go to uh, customize control bar right here global settings and then we get a window like this and you can uh, start to remove the buttons you don't need and you can add buttons to the list so this corresponds to the um, menu items so you have a trade simulation mode right here under the trade menu you want to add that to your control bar and down below there's um, other trading on global you want to add that to your um, custom control bar as well I already did that for my uh, my own custom bar so let's uh, just go with that you see trade simulation mode and uh, other trading global so right now I'm in trade simulation mode you will see that uh, this background here is blue the other trader also has an indication that uh, it turns blue if you um, go to live mode and then live mode means you're uh, connected to your trade service which could still be a simulated account but any account you're connected to um, and you're in live mode so trades will go through that account not through the simulator you see the color change here on the, uh, the trade window the color change on this automated study indicator um, so that way you can control where your trades are going no different than with manual trading um, so we go back to trade simulation there's also other trading global there's uh, other trading enabled for the chart and there's automated trading global global will uh, be set for all charts so if you have a automated trading strategy loaded on a chart <coughs> you will need to have auto trading global on and you will uh, also need to have automated trading on the chart enabled I just go with uh, automated trading global but if you have different charts of different symbols and you use uh, the uh, other trader on that you can uh, also use other trading enabled for chart to turn it off but there's an easier feature which is an on and off button in the study so I recommend 
at least set the trade simulation mode and auto trading global to your control bar. And <clears throat> in addition, um, I forgot also add while you're already doing it, add a advanced custom study button. It's right here, advanced custom study button and use uh, button number one if you never added one or the button you have available. <clears throat> uh, I will go through that in another video, uh, but that will turn on and off, uh, turn the auto trader on and off. So that's the control bar uh, customization. You want to do that. Um, then disable auto trading on starter. That's a setting. That's right here in that same trade menu. And you really want to make a conscious choice about, about this. Um, my personal preference is uh, to disable it on the startup and uh, just start without that. So when you restart, it will not be in automated trading. It will be turned off. But there is um, an option uh, described in uh, the share chart as well um, that uh, talks about the auto recovery. So if you want to have automated recovery of a trading system, there's a few settings. It is supported in the auto trader, and I will get back to that in uh, in another video. But the only reason you want to likely set disable or enable the auto trader on startup is when you use that. There's no uh, real other reason to do it. But make a conscious choice about what you want to do, what supports your trading. Uh, two systems or more on the same symbol. That's a big no-no. Okay. Uh, you can load the other trader on any chart you want. But if, uh, in this case, I have two, two charts of the same symbol. If I load it on this chart and I load it on the second chart as well, and I <clears throat> have them both on and active, it can become a problem. Um, it's the same with uh, manual trading on the same account. <clears throat> if you go long on the five minute chart, you cannot, you know, go short on the one minute chart uh, without closing your position. The same thing with automated trading. So it will not be recommended to do that. Uh, just don't do it. If you want to have more automated trading systems active on the same symbol, you just use different accounts for them. So you turn on a different instance of share chart, have different connection settings to different account, and then do your thing. So really be aware of that. It's not you have another trader, but you cannot use it on uh, multiple charts of the same symbol. Easy as that. Um, other trading results, backtesting, live, there's differences. That's also documented in, um, in the uh, share chart documentation. And uh, you really want to go back to that uh, trading section here. And there is a whole uh, chapter on auto trade system backtesting. You want to read through that. And uh, there's uh, quite a few things written about the uh, differences between uh, different uh, backtesting uh, option and uh, all sorts of issues you might uh, encounter. Uh, this is a custom study, so not, not everything applies, but uh, the general uh, things that are discussed here are, uh, are valid for the other trader as well. Um, you have to think about other risks as well when you uh, uh, start to decide to um, use automated trading. Um, other risks involve uh, losing internet connection, um, stability of your hardware. If you run other software, that might crash your platform. Uh, those issues uh, should be addressed as well. And you should be able to call your broker and your broker should pick up the phone to assist you if you run into trouble. So all those risks you have to have to address. And that's also personal choice, your choice of broker, hardware, software, whatever you do with your computer, 
uh, if you also use your computer for trading um, that's all personal choices um, I use share a chart on a VPS I only use share a chart on that platform and uh, nothing really nothing else uh, to do on that platform than running share a chart uh, the VPS um, make sure I have a low lower risk of losing connectivity um, but the risk is never zero there could be issues with your broker there could be issues with the um, exchange with your data feed there could be all kinds of issues that could hamper your automated trading and your trading in general so just be aware of those and uh, keep your phone number of your broker at hand they can get you out of the market if you uh, lose control um, apart from knowing your platform and uh, uh, getting familiar with the studies you use and uh, trying to set up a, a strategy um, there's a healthy progress there you can uh, start with backtesting uh, it also helps getting to know the platform you can do some replays you can go in sim load, simulation mode with a live feed and later on you can go on to finally trade live you could also do something like um, top step trader program where you trade live ish um, but um, you don't have all the downside risk it's all ways of getting familiar with the platform with your studies and seeing how uh, everything is performing and what suits your style so really before you put all your life life money your life account at risk just um, take your time all right that's the basic um, things you need to know uh, as a minimum to start your uh, automated trading in share a chart the next video will be on the auto trader on the study and there's loads of uh, things to tell about that um, excited see you next time on the next video, I'll be back.